ASICs. That's a brand that doesn't get talked about very often or it doesn't get much recognition in my opinion. But a few weeks ago, in December 2022, they came out with a pretty awesome shoe in my opinion. So they've revived their EX89 and the first place where I actually saw the silhouette was when Kit released uh, some images in their collaboration. But I'm not here to talk about that because today we're taking a look at the ASICS Bellaholic EX89. Let's get into it. So I've actually had this pair of shoes for a few weeks now. I didn't get the chance to review them earlier because I was moving. As you can see, I'm also trying something new. I moved to a new location in Barcelona, Spain. I'm outside, it's a beautiful January day. I hope the sound quality is good. And I really, really want to get into the shoe because I really do think this is quite a special shoe. The first place where I saw this silhouette was when Kit released their collab. I absolutely fell in love with the orange pair. Uh, it was amazing but I couldn't get my hands on that pair. So now when I saw that there was a new collab with Balaholic, which is a Japanese streetwear brand inspired by actually street basketball. So quite fitting for this particular silhouette of the EX89 because it is a basketball shoe from back in the day. And I think it's perfect that they're collaborating with a streetwear brand, which is also basketball inspired, uh, street ball inspired which is pretty awesome and I think the colorway is super, super cool. So let's get into it and see what's in the box. We can see we get two pairs, nothing else really in the box. But maybe I wanna also show you the box before we move on to the shoes. Pretty cool box, Balaholic logos and branding all over white box which is yeah pretty awesome in my opinion so taking a look at the shoes apart from of course both pairs that we get in the box we get quite a few different sets of laces so we get black we get white gray and of course the cream laces that the shoes are already laced on so taking a look at the build quality of the shoe my first impressions of having the shoe in hand is that it's quite sturdy, it's quite well built, it's rigid. The leather doesn't seem to be the best quality leathers, uh, but for the price point of 150 euros, I think it's quite uh, decent, actually, better than decent. It's quite, quite nice leather, I think it'll break in quite easily. Uh, apart from that, we have the rubber midsole uh, that wraps around all the way around the shoe. And I think it's actually, it says on the website that it's made with FF Blast. FF Blast is one of the newer foams actually used in the ASICS running shoes line. I actually have a pair, my personal running shoes um, have FF Blast, so I wanted to show you guys how this looks like. It's a very, um, it's a very soft foam, so it provides a lot of cushioning, not so much support, but I think that's why it's enclosed in this rubber midsole and inside with the FF Blast Plus, uh, actually FF Blast, there is FF Blast Plus, which is one step softer, but FF Blast is kind of like their middle tier foam. And actually it should provide much more uh, yeah, comfort with this shoe. So taking a closer look at some of the more details and the branding, the collaboration between ASICS and Balaholic, what they've done is uh, they've basically made a few different changes between the right and the left shoe. On the right shoe, we see the ASICS logo on the back, whereas the left shoe has the Balaholic logo. There is also a difference in the tongues. So the right tongue has the basketball logo on it. The left pair has ASICS on it. On the left pair in the back, it says retro reimagined for modern lifestyle. The right pair has ball street life handle. Pretty cool um, branding, pretty cool touches. There is also, I'll try to get some close up shots of this, but the insole has Ballaholic 22. And the left pair has A6, it says A689. So pretty cool touches. And I do have to say, I'm really, really liking this colorway. So what they've done with the white, off-white midsole, the gray and the black. I think it works really, really well together. 
and in my opinion it's a it's a solid collab and i can't wait to get the shoes on feet and see how they look i think they'll look pretty cool with with some outfits um and yeah pretty cool solid shoe white shoe it's gonna go along with a lot of my outfits a lot of your outfits as well probably it's a very clean pair but still it has these like little details that i that i like that differentiates it from regular pairs i know asics has come out with the ex89 in a couple of other colorways like basketball team inspired colorways and of course the kith colorways which are also awesome very clean looking but i think they're reselling for crazy prices now i couldn't get my hands on one of those i tried entering the raffles and stuff like that but in europe it's a bit harder to to get those from kit they do have a european site but it's not so widely available but yeah i managed to these were actually the ballaholic collab was actually sitting on the asics web website so uh, I just went on there, got it directly from, from ASICS, uh, which was super cool and I think uh, it's probably just as good as the Kith collabs in terms of color blocking and the colorway and everything. I love it and pretty cool to see a collaboration between ASICS and a native Japanese brand which is also kind of inspired by street style basketball. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool shoe, solid collab in my opinion. and. Yeah, the only thing left for me to do is give you guys some on-feed shots. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing and review of the ASICS EX89 Ballaholic collab. If you'd like to see more videos like this, content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.